Hello, this is Dr. Kasim Almashat from the Center for Mindfulness Canada. Today, for a special occasion, I brought out the whiteboard. So I brought this whiteboard because here we are, a new year. And uh, sometimes when a year ends, we have this romantic notion of a new year. While the last year had the same thing. So last year, 2020 began. Whoa. All the things, do you remember? Oh, 2020 vision. Perfect. The year of 2020, it began that way. Well, it sure was not perfect. We uh, got a lot of challenges globally, locally, you name it. And these are um, pretty big problems we face from pandemic to global warming issues, whether it's the fires, social injustice, and equity, and all the different personal challenges each of us faced. Somehow, though, when we're in it, we are wanting to start fresh. And we base this calculation on a rotation of the Earth, which takes 365 days about to go all around the sun. And this number, when it does a whole rotation, we feel now everything else before it gone so i wanted to speak a little bit about this because it leaves us disappointed so here we are here's the board with everything that showed up in it if we look back at 2020 we can do this for any year and all years for something's going to happen but we specifically had our friend here be well not really friend but we're learning to live with it just COVID. This is not a sun, this is COVID. <laughs> and all the different things showed up. The forest fires. Maybe we each had something that showed up. I had loss that showed up. There was financial problems, challenges that showed up. Uh, it might be health. Whatever it is, something showed up. And we want the year to roll. Whatever that number is, want it to be to the next number because the next number it could be 22 it could be 23 whatever it is four we're wanting that next year somehow magically everything here whoosh, 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 erased now it would be nice if all of us are able to do that we only experience things that we feel good about like oh check that's fantastic all the sunny little things it's like check check that's somehow what we're left with when we're wanting to clean the board clean the slate and start fresh what that's doing it's not leaving room for the not so good things and somehow we throw all of it away all of it because we had small or really maybe massive X challenges, whatever it is, challenges showed up. So maybe when we think of a new year, what could be helpful, and that can be renewable, not only every year, not only every month, but actually every day. Just being with whatever showing up and expanding the capacity. So perhaps our ability to work with it get stronger we have space bigger space to hold all of it which means we get not only to notice and focus on all the problems which we need to as well because some problems need addressing it might be a grassroots uh, organization we need to support to create change it might be our own inequity so there's things we need to address. At the same time, we can't just dwell on things that we cannot control and then miss out on all the little things. All the little things that happen on each day that can bring us some joy, that is part of our board in life. So maybe we can have a... Um, more balanced perspective that allows space for the X challenges for all the good things and 
what really came to me is this um, quote by Emerson and he says what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters to what lies within us is that beautiful so how I take this quote is really uh, part of how do we keep developing our own character so the board can become an ongoing process of character formation development how can we grow instead of just dwelling in the past and worrying about what's ahead of us how can we deepen our own journey our own self-discovery so we can be of support and service to others in our communities and our families whatever it is that we feel moved by so I want to share that with you and I hope that this year brings you many days where you have this ah fresh start and may the next year do the same all the moments all the days and all the year not just the beginning of oh we're energized in January but in February and March and April and all the way to December an ongoing process thank you for listening I look forward to sharing more videos with you until then feel free to visit my website on drkassimalmashab.com may your moments be filled with ease and may you be present in as many moments thank you